Hey, World History Kids. Um, your fifth hour, seventh hour, um, we would normally uh, have had a block day today, uh, but uh, because of the ice, um, we're missing class. Uh, we're not missing a block. We're only missing because uh, they changed the schedule to uh, a one through eight schedule. So we're only missing about 45 minutes or 37 minutes, I don't know what, of, of class today. Um, <clears throat> so uh, anyway, I will see you on on Thursday then um, as a regular block day, although the juniors won't be with us. Um, and so at some point I'm gonna talk to the juniors because uh, in some ways you're going to be missing a lot more. But here is your assignment today. Um, and we were already, for the fifth and seventh hour, we were already a little bit behind um, the, the second hour class. Um, but let me give you context for, for this assignment. Um, and then I'm gonna also tell you about some other stuff coming up. So again, we've been talking about the Enlightenment and that these new ideas kind of spawn the French Revolution. And we hopefully saw these ideas of the Enlightenment in this revolution. It's going to affect world history big time. Uh, and I think we know that. Um, but now today in this assignment, you're going to kind of see, you know, how. So what this assignment is, um, and it starts with a map of, of South America. Um, after the French Revolution, um, revolution spread to uh, back to the Americas. Um, so it goes from the United States um, where we had our revolution, then the French do their revolution. That's a really big revolution that affects a lot of people. Um, and the whole world watches because France is an in incredibly important country in the 1700s. And then it spreads back to the Americas. So you start to see revolutions in Haiti um, and then you see uh, a revolution in um, what we call Latin America, or it's today what it would be Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Panama, those countries. Um, they are inspired by the French uh, and, and they then um, engage in this revolution. So what you're gonna do in this assignment is um, see um, their declaration. Um, what are they saying when they um, like write to the King of Spain to say we're rebelling? Okay, and then you're going to compare that to the Declaration of the Rights of Man. So it's a comparison because we want to see if the same ideals are there. Um, and we're going to see if we can see uh, elements of the French Revolution in this revolution in Latin America. The famous leader of Latin America, is, his name is Simon Bolivar. Um, some people call him the George Washington of, of Latin America. Um, he's a general like George Washington. He's also Enlightenment. So you're going to see some of those Enlightenment values. By the way, George Washington was in, uh, very influenced by the Enlightenment as well. So you're going to see uh, their Declaration of Independence um, as compared to France's. There's going to be some similarities and there's going to be some differences. Okay, um, It's a primary source. So it's obviously um, it's old fashioned language. It's kind of hard. You're going to have to annotate it. Okay. Um, you're going to have to maybe, you know, underline or, or highlight words you don't know. Um, and just say, I, I'm not totally sure what that is. And, and as you read it carefully, you also may need to say, I think I get what this is. I'm going to guess what this word is. And, and then you're just going to answer questions as best you can. Okay. Um, should take you about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Might take you longer. Um, and that's okay. I, you know, maybe you don't have much going on today, but it does develop that good reading skill. We're learning skills. Um, we're learning to kind of look through texts and, and make sense of things because, um, that kind of literacy is really important in, in school and in life. Okay. So, so that's your assignment today. I will go over it. Okay. The other thing that I want you to know um, is that, um, and I didn't tell you guys this on, on Thursday or last Friday, excuse me, but I did kind of uh, allude to it. Maybe we are having a test coming up. Okay. And so there is a study sheet, sheet here. I have it printed out for you as well, but you can start to look over those terms. Um, that's not something that originally I thought it was going to be Friday of this week. Um, obviously, uh, I had already thought, oh, that's a bit soon. But now with snow day, it will be probably pushed till a week from Thursday. Okay. And that's where we reinforce what it is we've been learning um, this whole unit. And then bigger than that, and this is where um, the juniors are going to see kind of a different scenario. When you guys come back on Thursday, um, we're going to start on a simulation. And that's because in world history, I like to teach something, enlightenment and revolutions. I like to kind of test it. Um, that's the test. And then the last thing I like to do is to say, how does this affect us today? 
And so we're going to be looking at a situation that happened um, within uh, the last 20 or so years and, and then say, yeah, how were the same ideas that we're looking at from 200 years ago, how might that still be around in some decisions that countries have to make today? And so um, on Thursday, when the juniors aren't here, we're going to kind of dive into that scenario where you have to look for some of these enlightenment thoughts, the thoughts of revolution, of throwing, overthrowing governments, and compare it to, uh, to a modern day situation. Because then we can start to say, yeah, what does this mean for us today? So uh, anyway, I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're able to complete it. On Thursday, I will check it. Okay, we'll check it in class. If you're a junior not here, I'll check it online. So I'm still expecting you to do it. If you're a junior, you will get, you know, again, a zero if it's not done. So uh, anyway, uh, talk to you later. Bye.